Dear brothers and sisters, yesterday, yesterday's gospel reading, in the synagogue of Nazareth, Jesus announced that he had come to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And in today's gospel reading, we find Jesus revealing God's favor to someone who was deeply disturbed and troubled with the unclean spirit in the synagogue of Capernaum. The power of God's favor at work through Jesus calmed the raging storm within this man, someone who had initially related to Jesus in a very aggressive way and was restored to God's favor because of Jesus' authority and power, the authority and power of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God's love. God's favor at work through Jesus overcame the man's aggression and resistance brought about by that demon. As a result of the power of God's favor working through Jesus in this dramatic way, we are told that astonishment seized all who witnessed that incident. They were all astonished. Brothers and sisters, there are times in our lives when we find ourselves disturbed, troubled, sometimes storms. We encounter storms within us. And it is above all then that we need to come before the Lord in prayer and open ourselves to the power of God's favor, that He can bring us a favor that can calm our turmoil, who can bring peace in our lives. And when we receive the Lord's peace and healing presence, we can, in a way, we can be peacemakers. We can bring the Lord's favor to others who are in need of it, to bring this healing presence to those who are disturbed, troubled, and broken. And we can resonate with that responsorial psalm that we shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. And I will leave you with this two beautiful quotations from Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Hopefully, this will give us something ba, that in the midst of the moments of being disturbed or in trouble, we remember these beautiful words of Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta. One is that it's not how much you do, but how much love you put into what you do counts. It's not how much you do, but how much love you put into what you do that counts. And lastly, not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. May Mother Teresa of Calcutta intercede for us.